Thank you for joining me. This is Jane from Earth Palette. Today I'm going to over dye some yarn. Um, it's certainly possible to over dye yarn with the Earth Palette dyes. If you're not happy with the colours they are, I have put extra ties on these out of just a cheap synthetic yarn so that won't take the dye but I'll be able to pick it up and handle it. This is a Silk Merino non superwash yarn and um, I've chosen to dye, over dye this. Now the colours I've chosen to over dye this are green, this is blue, yellow and rubine. So um, where am I going to place them though? Hmm, good question. I might stick with the green on the end and then I might actually put another colour in there. Perhaps I will go with, um, I might just go this way. Well, no, that'll make a, I'll do that one. Okay. And then I might put a different colour on the end here. We might just go with a turquoise on the end. So that'll add five colours. Okay. So we'll go green. This is the Earth Palette Green. It's more of a teal green colour, not a grassy green. And then we've got the blue. Now this will change the colours like the browny, beigey colour and the green colour. So this blue will not be the same in on over on when it covers over both of those colours. So it'll come up the shade. The shade will be different on each of them. Just give it a bit of a squish in. So this is not super washed. So if you're over dyeing your yarn, just be be careful of that. Remember that you can't work too hard or you'll felt it. This is rubine, the Earth palette rubine, and I'm going to put it to here because it's a good colour. And it, where it covers over the yellow, the blue and the beige, it'll come up differently on each of those. So you'll get quite a bit of variation in this rubine colour. I'll put quite a bit of that because it's a good colour. I'd say it was my favourite colour, but I like them all. I'll make sure my hands are clean for this one because it's a yellow and I definitely don't want too much other colour in it. So we've got our yellow over the yellowy bits and we'll go over the green a little bit so that'll change it to a more of a brighter green having the extra yellow on it. And I'll squish it with this hand because just in case there happens to be any rubine left on this glove. And then we'll go to turquoise and this will change this colour into a darker green. But still within the turquoisey green colouring. So this is now looking very, very different than when we started. Okay, I'll wipe my hands off and I'm going to turn these over and do any touch-ups that I think might be necessary on the other side. It's not looking too bad actually. So we'll go back a little bit with our green, make sure we get a bit. Oops. Now if you don't want it to squirt like that when you do it, I just put my finger over it and that means that it doesn't squirt out when you do it. And I touched it there because I had blue on my finger, on my glove which was not good. A little bit more turquoise. So now I can see that it's not all the way soaked in there, but that won't be too bad. I think a little sort of mix a little bit in while it's setting. So I'm not going to worry about that. Now we'll 
squish it together a little bit, cover it over, wrap it, and then put it aside because it's a warm day today. I'm not going to heat it or anything. These days don't need any heating unless it's a very cold day. I'll get to one of my trusty little kitty litter trays. They've never been used for kitty litter. I just keep them for dyeing but they, because they're a good size. And then I'll come back and show you how this looks when it's all dry and ready. So here's our yarn again. We'll unpack it if we can. The dye you can see is on the outside of the plastic. So there is a bit of dye that's run onto the plastic and of course the plastic's not going to absorb the dye. So this was, you know, the silk merino non-superwash. You can see there's a little bit of colour in there but nothing too bad. Well, there's a bit on that end but I'm not too worried about that. Turquoise often doesn't set completely, it often has a bit of runoff. And I'm going to rinse these out and bring them back and show them to you when they're dry. So we're back with our yarn and um, silk always has a bit of a sheen on it so you can see the sheen on this one. Colours have come up really nicely. This was the green remember we left one of the greens, the green we just over dyed it with the turquoise and it's come up um, quite a nice shade of green. The chartreuse has dyed where it was greener has made a different shade of green and chartreuse here and where we did the rubine as it gets into the where the other colour was it's changed from here to there but all in all it's come up quite nicely I'm pretty happy with that it's um, dyed really nicely it's nice and soft I hope you feel more comfortable in over dyeing some of your own yarns that you don't use because you're not happy with the colour now and um, feel more confident about doing so. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to seeing you with our next video. If you've got any questions, please feel free to add them in the comments below.